Hello, 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 hello. Alright, let's do this. I have a companion on the boat. Raven still needs a submarine. Can't do anything, so I'm completely solo flying this. Gonna be a Kraken V1. I'm gonna try to speak and give tips all the way through. But for the first two rounds, it's not really needed. The first two rounds are piece of cake, no electricity. Just make sure you take down the tentacles. No need to shoot the ships unless you want to, of course. What I do most of the time, I keep my gun ports closed, hard to see. But my first four gun ports, I got three on this one because I got some battle cannons. But usually four or five cannons on the front. I put on the group front, and that's the only gun ports I have open during the fight. And always have all your crew on auto fire. That can save your life. In this catch the situation, we're probably gonna get, get across that later, but for now it's just front gun ports open, auto fire. Keep it going. Probably talking a lot less during the first two rounds. Not really anything to watch out for. Usually, like you see the ships stuck around the hat. It's pretty normal for the first round. Some of them gonna get blasted out though, once we done some damage on the hat. And for handling. Like, I always use six handling sails on a Kraken fight. It's gonna require a lot of sailing straight into the wind right now. And with speed sails, this is just like a bummer. While handling sails go pretty much in each direction. So now I highlight my other groups, close my front gun parts, so I take the least amount of damage of the blue stuff. Make sure to keep outside, stay outside the circle, the circle is gonna push you away or turn you around. I'm gonna line up, front gun parts, got a manual shot on it. Always make sure your guns are on auto fire, so as you see now, it's a lot of cannonballs on a galleon. But this will make sure you take at least one of two tentacles out 99% of the time. That's not mattering right now, but that's gonna matter after the next round. Don't think we can hit it with the ballista, can we? We'll just come back for that one. So what I'm gonna do now, deselect my other groups, make sure I open my front gun ports again. To 
not waste too much cannonballs because you don't need that many probably four to five cannonballs with common cannons is more than sufficient on a v2 i would do this differently now i would already select my groups so when whatever scenario i run into this of course has brigantines if we too has galleons. Galleons could get a little bit nasty because it could be a level 60-ish, 50 plus at least. So all I have to do now is close my gun port and open my gun port to open all of them. Saves me a couple seconds. because I'm the only one in there the blue balls blue orbs will follow me continuously and the ships all will follow me continuously too if there would be like two or three different ships in here then you can also see the orbs will split up between the ships and some ship of the down will ignore you because they're not chasing you, they're chasing the other person in the region, so that's why I mostly just avoid shooting Shep of the Dam, it's just a waste of ammo. They don't do a lot of damage, the most of them are green, and especially the Brigantines, it's like, no need to repel. You already selected the groups, all gun ports closed. Probably you always want to line up on one of the sides of the hat. Shooting it on the front where the mouthpiece is is usually not that handy and will not register all the time. Top of the hat will also not always register. So preferably you want to park on one of the sides. Stop your momentum. It's pretty, pretty needed to it basically. get shot out while you shoot out because your cannons are on auto fire you take out the nearest tentacle we actually went exactly in the middle and that will kind of make sure we not get electrocuted so all gun ports closed deselect my groups open my front gun ports turn back on my groups And now the interesting part, electricity stopped. So I'm safe to take out two tentacles. That's number one. Wind's gonna be bad for us now, so we're not gonna attempt the third tentacle. We're just gonna make sure, make sure this one is gonna get down. And once we get this down, we slow down. Because after we slow down, it will reveal the next round of electricity. If you don't want to get electrocuted, do it this way. So, be good to go. Two tenths goes on the back there, get electric. So we can just continue sailing without any risk. So electric goes away. Still need to go for this one. So again two tentacles then slow down 
this is 100% safe, no risk, and no tryouting, like 100% safe, 100% guaranteed success. So take this one down, and this is the last one, so it usually it's gonna be electric. shouldn't take too long, there we go if we would have sailed in right now we would have been electrocuted we can pr probably survive one time maybe like yeah one time in a row on 3-1 difficulty got 202 HP this is probably gonna take you down to yeah 50, 75 so if you have a hundred health, this probably will kill you if you sail into it. So just no risk, no mad kits. Take this one down. Close the gun ports. So this guy's going to be annoying. So we open the gun ports. Say goodbye. Now we on the side side of that, so we basically want to still line up with the metal. Its jaw will not register any hits. And again, watch out for the blue circle around it. You can get stuck in it. It can be annoying. So this is nice enough. You can take a nice shot on the side. the job stuck on a tentacle for the other fire cannons make sure Here we go and this guy's gonna be annoying keep the gun puts open for a second no blue orbs so we can't take damage from those what we're now looking out for is electricity that's going on right now. Open my front gun ports again. So we ride at this one and it just stopped so we safe to take out two tentacles. Even with that one. But the wind is actually pretty decent. If you want to make up some time, you can keep it going now, but we're gonna do a 100% risk free. So, and we're done now in 10 seconds, and the we should pop up again. And that's why we waited. If it would have won any slower, we would have caught up in the middle. For Ship of the Dam behind us, I'm not gonna pay a lot of attention to them. They're not even doing a hundred damage a shot. I'm gonna wait until the electricity finishes. And then go for two more. That should give us enough space between these guys. Of course if you have some cannons on the back feel free to shoot them, if you want to shoot them, you do so. So this is the second one after the electricity. So with it not all too long time, I'm gonna get the next round of electricity. Uh, 
Um, yep, this is a good one. We're not gonna, gonna have a lot of wind. So you wanna leave as soon as possible. This might get close, so we now have a lot of speed. 15, just below 50 knots. Still quite a lot of speed, actually, but two tentacles after electricity. That's the last one, so 100% guarantee. Electric tentacle. Ship's still following us nicely. Should have a nice lineup too to take a nice shot. Wind's turning by. Make sure all my groups are selected. Gunports close, these orbs can't do damage inside of the ship, so they won't damage your crew. They can actually damage your crew and cannons, but having my gunports closed prevents that. Open the gunports, line up the shot, make sure our auto fire is going. Other fire bears. Yeah, we'll take care of that one. Electricity only on the back, so we're gonna close our gun ports, deselect our groups, open our front gun ports. And I prefer going clockwise. I always put the sail crew on the left side of the ship because I go clockwise if I got hit by all the blue orbs it's not damaging my crew because it can actually damage the crew on your sail so the electricity stopped all the way back there I didn't have a clear view on it when it stopped so I'm not gonna take any risk this is gonna be our second tentacle we might have to wait for 20 seconds, but at least it's going to reveal to us which ones are going to be electric. And we don't want to die. And we're good to go again. Keep us on a nice distance of the ships, so don't have to worry about those. There's a clear line in the water where you shouldn't go. And this is nice, we know what stopped, so we safe to take out two tentacles. That's why you got plenty of time. We had a nice come through. So we don't have to be afraid we're gonna be too late. We got some room. Make sure we line up the shot. And then slow down again. To wait for the next one. 
That one's good to go. And if you do this with multiple ships, it's even easier. It's just the really important part that if you are on a tentacle, you need to stay on the tentacle. Don't gonna start sailing around, don't gonna try to avoid ships. Just try to shoot the ships on your spot and always make sure you're ready to shoot the tentacle once it comes up. If you're not paying attention and you're not lined up with the tentacle and it will respawn the tentacles, there is a chance you're going to be electrocuted and that happens more often than most people think. So just make sure you always have one side of your ship aimed at a tentacle and auto fire so once it spawns it will automatically take it out for you. That's what I mean with the watch out with the barrier. I hope this is gonna hit something for us because we're in a rough position. A really rough position. Kinda got lucky there. And Chris D's going on back there. We're coming up to one, so we safe to take out two. get a free pass in the next one. This is where we slow down again. Two tentacles. That'll wait a bit longer. I'm taking too much risk and wanna take out that third one. So these guys are gonna be annoying. Gonna take out a couple. Don't lose track of time though. Make sure we're ready to go whenever all this stops. Don't wanna play around too much. So now we're gonna focus back on off one gun ports. I'm gonna do this manually, they might shoot at the ships, it's gonna be annoying. Mm -hmm. Take out this one. I'm gonna slow down again, only two left, so one of the two of our boat are gonna be electric anyway. that one Another such nice lineup. We have to make it work though. Those are gun ports.
sometimes this happens. Sometimes other stuff happens. I never know. Ooh, lucky. We're right on the line, can't turn. If we turn now, we get electrocuted. So, open off on gun parts. Get ready. Steps. Time to go. We gotta get out of here. Let the auto fire do the job. Gonna have a rough time going to the next one, but we should be there on time. See, the one we were in was gonna be electric, but because of the auto fire, it took it out first, so no chance of us missing it. Nice, next to. So second one, so two left, 100% guarantee, they're gonna be electric. It's not a lot of electric today, but... Should've won on all two, but... Seems the game is polite today. And nose doesn't matter anyway. Uh, why are we not shooting? I didn't have my auto fire on, I was still manual targeting, so fail on this side. That's why we want to make sure it's on auto fire all the time. Don't go in here too early, you can see the roll pool by the way, should have told this a lot earlier. Now it's away, safe to sail in, if you sail in, if the roll pool is there it will spin you around and push you back. So always make sure to stay out the roll pool. Looking for that side. Stop the momentum. Take the shot. Uh, we might be in trouble. No, we're not in trouble. Okay. We are really lucky. I should have cast as a mad cat. We got really unlucky there on getting pushed out. Or did we take out a tentacle? Oh, we took out a tentacle. But always make sure you still have a mad cat on you in case of emergencies. So 
second one. That wind, so we want to move as fast as possible. If you with speed cells, just take out one tentacle if you don't have one. There will be plenty of time left to finish it off anyway. So just bring us the next round of electricity. Yep. that one but we're gonna cut into it so it should be fine to take out two That's it, Kraken V1, one ship, solo. I will make a video about V2, but V2 is basically exact the same. You're not dealing with brigantines, but with galleons. So this will be our GG shot. No risk. Just safe. And even got damaged slightly. And then we got a nice present. It's custom for my server though, so it might look a little bit different than on official servers. I don't even know what's gonna give me anyway. And we got some nice stuff. Not a lot, a little bit. But that's basically it. Damage on the ship, the ship should be completely fine. Even if it's a level 30 common ship, like it still should be fine. If it's not fine, like if if you, if you need need a break, like we had like 27 minutes spare, I guess 27 minutes spare, something like that. But yeah, that's basically it. Kraken V1 solo. Hope you guys enjoy.